will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. We've had literally thousands of comments on videos and thousands of messages in Discord with people saying they're having trouble getting their Cooler Master addressable RGB products to work. The common issues are with the lighting controllers or getting Aura Sync and Mystic Light to work because there's a lack of documentation. Well, I'm here to be that documentation for you. You guys have been asking us for the longest time to show you guys how to set up and install the Cooler Master ARGB products for about a year now. So I decided it was time for me to show you how easy it is and to alleviate a little bit of the stress for those of you who are new to building PCs. Let's do it. Before we begin, I just want to make this super clear. This guide is for demonstration purposes only. Every system, every case, and every cooling solution is different. This is a guide to give you the fundamental understanding of how the lighting ecosystem itself works. It's, it's not about the correct way to install fans or the correct way to install cooling or anything like that. This guide is going to show you how to plug everything in. We're going to take a quick look at the Cooler Master Master Plus software and also show you how to not cable manage. Yeah, this is definitely not a cable management guide. Trust me, we're aware that there's like a lot of cables when you install these lighting systems, but they're all like that. With all of that said, let's jump right in. Let's first unbox the MF120R ARGB kit. Now this kit includes the mini ARGB controller. However, we will be showing you the differences between the one that comes with the ML coolers as well. Okay, first up we've got the mini ARGB controller. This can be controlled either with software, which we're gonna touch on a little bit later, or the buttons on the top of the controller. As you can see here, these are the connections for the controller to plug in all of your lighting and the power. It also includes a three pin ARGB connector if you wanted to connect it in a different way, as well as a PWM splitter, which is actually kinda nice, because what you'll notice with other fan kits is they probably won't include one of these. This is the three-way ARGB splitter. This allows you to connect the lighting and split it three times from the controller. It also has pass-through from your motherboard that we'll touch on later. It includes a SATA power connector. And as you can notice, there's another wire hanging off that. And that wire is actually for this part. This is a temperature probe because the fans can be controlled via the temperature inside of your case, if that's something that you actually wanted to set up. It includes all of the screws to attach three fans to your case. It also includes three 120mm addressable RGB fans, which is obvious because that's what this whole video is about. And like I mentioned, we're actually going to talk about this controller in this video as well and show you the differences between this and the mini controller, which is this guy right here. Alright, let's get stuck into how this all works. I wanted to address this right from the beginning because I know from the comments that we've seen, quite a few people have problems with connecting these fans up correctly and they're not quite sure what each of these connectors are because a lot of you guys are new to PC building, so I'm going to help you out here. Now the connector on the left, pictured here, is for controlling the fan speed and to power the actual fans, and the one on the right is to control the lighting. These fans operate on two independent systems that all make them work work in harmony. Now, out of those two systems, the first one we're going to focus on is the lighting system. So we're going to need this three-way addressable RGB splitter. Now, this only plugs into one of the ports on the mini addressable RGB connector. It won't fit in any other one except for the one we're about to show you. It clicks and plugs into the middle one just like so. Nice and easy. All right. On the other end of the cable, what you want to do is remove this rubber cap to expose the addressable RGB connector and plug in the lighting connector from the fan. Pretty straightforward stuff. All you need to do is rinse and repeat that step three times. You might be wondering why you have two additional cables that aren't plugged into anything. Well, these ones are for motherboard pass-through and they actually tell you what motherboards they're compatible with. So this one's ASRock, ASUS and MSI and this one is Gigabyte. Because we're using an MSI motherboard, we're gonna plug it into the addressable RGB header on the MSI motherboard. Most motherboards I've seen have that addressable RGB connector, including the Gigabyte ones. So don't worry 
worry if you've got an additional cable hanging off the pass-through cable because it's bound to happen. You, you probably don't have two motherboards inside of your computer. Right, now the next thing we're going to do is talk about an optional step where you can actually go ahead and plug in USB for USB and software control. This is not included with this. I just thought I'd add this in just to tell you that it was possible. They only just added this in the later version of Master Plus. So yeah, we're going to touch on that a little bit later as well. Okay, let's talk about the second system, the power system. Now this is the SATA power connector and it will only plug into one part on the controller and that's usually the other one that you haven't plugged in yet. And yeah, it only fits into that hole. So don't worry, you can't mess this up. It's very, very straightforward. What you'll wanna do is get the other end of the cable and plug it into SATA power from your power supply. If you don't have a free SATA power connector, um, probably dig around and there's bound to be one inside of your system. All right, now we're gonna connect up the power for the fans. You're gonna to need to locate this three-way PWM splitter. And this is really straightforward. You just grab one of the power cables from the fan, plug it into the splitter just like so, and repeat that step for all of the three fans or however many fans you've got. And you plug that into a PWM header on your motherboard just like so, nice and easy. I wanna talk about this whole process again, but this time we're gonna lay it out flat so you can see how everything connects and how everything talks to each other. The first thing I'm gonna do in this example is plug in the power, which plugs into the top port. Now we're gonna plug in the addressable RGB splitter, which plugs into the next one down. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, there is a temperature probe sensor which plugs into the split out cable on the SATA power connector, just like so, nice and easy. Now we're gonna get all the fans and place the fans down to show you how all the fans connect and what of each of the cables do. So now we're gonna plug in the power for the fans with the PWM splitter just like so. We're gonna rinse and repeat this step three times. We're gonna put this off to the side just so you can see how this all connects to each other. And now we're gonna plug in the addressable RGB for the fans. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the splitter and rinse and repeat that step three times just like we showed previously in the video to make it all work. Now that everything's plugged in, you You'll notice you only need to plug in two things. One is the PWM splitter to your motherboard and the other being the SATA power to your power supply. Okay, let's just explain this one more time. This cable here, the one that's split for the lighting connects together with the lighting connectors, which are the three pin ARGB connectors. They plug into the middle part of the controller. Next up, the power connects into the top part and into a SATA power connector on your power supply. And the last bit is the three-way PWM splitter where the power for the fans connect to the PWM header on your motherboard. Okay, let's talk about the differences with the controller that comes with the all-in-one water cooling kits and with the mini ARGB controller that comes with this fan kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to hook this up. So you need a three pin ARGB connector. This has four lighting channels, so you can actually connect everything individually, but we're just gonna use the splitter in the same way that we used with the mini controller. Plug in the SATA power from your power supply into the bottom of the controller. We've actually covered this in depth with the ML360R video. I'll link that in the top right hand corner if you guys wanna see how that all works. Now this has a separate port for pass through so you can pass the lighting through from Aura Sync or Mystic Light to your controller. It plugs into this bottom connector right here and the other end of that plugs into the addressable RGB header on your motherboard, just like the mini controller. Now this controller actually comes with the cables to plug this into your motherboard for full software it's a USB cable that plugs into this little guy here, which is like a USB port that plugs into the USB 2.0 header on your motherboard. It's very straightforward and very, very easy to install. Let's lay it out flat just like the mini controller so we can show you how everything connects. This is the PWM splitter that plugs into your motherboard to spin the fans and make them turn. This is the addressable RGB splitter that plugs into one of the addressable ports on the controller that allows you to control all of the lighting. This is the cable for motherboard pass-through lighting, which we're gonna touch on just shortly with the software part of this video. This is the USB 2.0 cable that plugs into a USB 2.0 header on your motherboard for software control. All right, let's have a look at the software. I'll put a link to Master Plus down in the description so if you guys who don't have it yet can grab it really easily so you don't have to go Googling and searching for it. Yeah, I thought I'd just make your life a little bit easier. On the software side of things, both controllers are fairly similar, so we're only gonna use the mini controller to show you how this works. So what you wanna do is locate your fan and literally just drag it in, just like so, 
and if you've got three fans just drag three fans in otherwise if you're using a splitter on the other controller don't do that and all you need to do is click the little light bulbs to attach them so the controller knows exactly what to do with the lighting. Next we're going to take a look at the overview to show you how all of the lighting effects work. I had this controller plugged in before but what we're going to do is switch it over to motherboard mode. Now this will enable the motherboard pass through for the controller. So if you wanted to use AuraSync or Mystic Light or RGB Fusion or ASRock Polychrome or whatever addressable RGB thing you wanted to pass through to it, that's how you would do it. Now I'm just going to go through all the built-in effects so you guys can see how this will look in your system. I'm not going to talk too much here because it's pretty self-explanatory. Master Plus is a lot more in depth than it used to be. If you guys would like to see a video just on Master Plus to explain how all of the lighting works in depth, please let me know in the comments down below and we'll get on that as soon as we get some time. I think I covered pretty much everything in this video. If you've got any questions, feel free to head on over to our Discord and ask questions in the RGB and Fan Talk channel. Please don't at me or the admins in Discord and don't DM me or the admins either. It's, it's just a lot easier if you just ask it in that channel because someone's gonna help you pretty quickly. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek and for all those new PC builders out there, I hope we alleviated a little bit of your stress. Thanks for watching.